But he starts by saying this memorandum is a binding legal agreement between the parties. And the parties have been explained. And uh, I've highlighted the paragraph which reads, the commitments made herein shall bind Principal H, read Raila, and Principal Q, read Kalonzo Musioka, in both the 2017 and 2022 elections. By this agreement, the parties agree that Principal H will be NASA's presidential nominee and that Principal Q will be his running mate. And then, most importantly, this agreement will remain valid until the 2022 elections, whether or not NASA wins the 2017 uh, presidential elections. Please underline the words, whether or not we won the elections. And on the Articles of Agreement, I highlight, I highlight Principle 2. Principle H agrees in a public MOU to serve one term and publicly endorse Principle Q as a presidential candidate for 2022. Therefore, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody has had any difficulty whatsoever with my sense of negotiation <laughs> and uh, my ability to plead straight and candidly, I hope today I've acquitted myself. I see the very nice headline, headlines today in the media, that tension, there's tension between me and my brother. I want to tell you there's none. And uh, in effect, some of you say, I, I ask His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta to take leadership of the current round of negotiations. I think it's right and proper, considering he has a sense of authority, he's a sitting head of state, um, and whether some of you want to refer to him as an outgoing president, in my view, they are out, uh, the presidents who have been outgone in our region and still hold great sway, not only in their countries, but in the countries of the African region. That is why somebody like President Obasanjo, my friend President Kikweta, who is actually in town, and others continue to be revered heads of state. I see President Uhuru Kenyatta praying, playing that role into the future. But I want to urge that he plays even presently. So ladies and gentlemen,